what's going on? Um, somebody asked me in the threads uh, how to do a save game or a high score or whatever. So I'm going to burn through a quick example. Um, this little wacky scene here is um, basically um, I'm counting score with a simple weight. Nothing. This could be coins or this could be position or high score or whatever, whatever. So let's see what I got going on here. Um, let's go ahead and stop this. So basically I have a simple loop. There's a, a wait for half, a quarter of a second. And that quarter of a second bounces over here and it just iterates some variable named Z by one every quarter of a second. So four every second. And it updates the um, UI text. Okay, so you can't quit an application in dev Right, it has to be the compiled version to close. And I didn't feel like build, building a whole UI. You, you get the idea. I'm just gonna do how to do the save part. So in here, I also have a look for key. If I hit the Z key, it jumps over to here. And ooh, we do nothing. Okay, so let's jump into this. So basically you're just gonna leverage off of the parameters. Um, or I'm sorry, the player prefs. So I always type in prefs. And what, what we don't want to do is set a player pref, and that's going to write a file to your file system. Um, it's different for the Mac or PC or Twitch or whatever, but just go and do this. It'll take care of the work for you. So we're going to set the player prefs int, and we know that we are just iterating Z. So back over here. So when we hit the Z key, why am I pointing? You can't see what I'm pointing at. When we hit the Z key, it bounces over to here. Um, count as if you want more than one, you know, one eleven different variables that are set to this text file, but we're just gonna do one, obviously. Um, and we cr create something that we're gonna write to, a name of variable. So we're gonna call this um, time. All right. And the value is that Z value. All right. And then if we click that, that'll iterate up. And the second we hit the Z key, it'll write that out to a text file. So if we do that, we won't see anything when we load it the next time because we haven't retrieved it yet. So we need to write something that imports that data from that file we read on the next load. So add a new state, call this load, call it whatever you want, and we're gonna not get it. We're gonna, we're not gonna set it. We're gonna get the int this time, and one variable again, and we called it time. It knows that it's written in an array, and we're gonna reassign it to z on the load. So instead of going through this loop. We're gonna cut this in between here and here. So we're gonna make this the start state. Right click, set as start state, fun, fun. And we're gonna add a finish state to this. Whoa, transition finished. So the first thing it's gonna do is look for that file and it's gonna load that variable into our variable called z and then start its looping and each quarter of a second z is going to continue from that last value it loaded in keep tacking on one 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 so right now if we load that right now that time variable is blank so we're going to start from zero and we'll run around here oh sorry i didn't add a run state he's just fast walking Excuse me, Mr. Yeti. So we'll just jam through here and just like leave it around 50. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the Z key and the last number is gonna be 68, okay? So the Z key simulates going back and saving your game. All right, we close the game. Let's get out of here. And again, we could save variables like where the person was standing using uh, vector three or anything we want for that matter. Um, so now when we load, it should start counting at 63. And there we go. All right. So small example, but hopefully you get the gist. 
it's the player prefs get set and you can do ints uh bulls floats whatever whatever uh ints floats yeah so just those and if you need to set a position you take a vector three and you convert it to three variables x y and z and you set save as three different variables and you can save people's positions also so if you want extra expansion on this cool if not hopefully this does what you want it to do all right see you later stop recording stop recording